What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Gang! So, um, as you know, if you followed me on Snapchat, if you saw the um, weekly buys video, you know I'm doing free videos for you guys. That's, f that's free, not four. Free videos for you guys um, coming in. And the first thing to drop was actually the um, the um, Fred Perry polos. So I thought, you know what, let me do the Fred Perry polos first because they just come in and they're all here in this tiny little box from end. I even got the Stone Island stuff um, and the Montclair stuff from Woodhouse is in here and I haven't even opened it guys, that's still there. I'm gonna be doing that video shoot um, tomorrow so that's gonna be coming out during the week. So I'm not gonna do that one at the moment. I thought I'll start off with the Fred Perry. I ordered it on Wednesday and it came on Thursday. So it got here in a day. It, it arrived so quick, I was so uh, so surprised about how quickly it came. So I was super chuffed about that. And that's it man, Fred Perry. Um, I'm a huge Fred Perry fan from back in the day. My dad used to wear Fred Perry and I always remember him busting the Fred Perry shirts. So that's where I got my love of Fred Perry from. Absolutely love their polos. But what I thought I'll do for you guys is uh, give you a little bit of information about the Fred Perry brand before we crack on with the review. Because a lot of you might not know about how Fred Perry started, what it's about, etc. So let's, let's, let's get in, man. Let's find out more about the brand. Fred Perry was actually a British tennis champion and he won three Wimbledon titles back in the day. They basically say he was like the Roger Federer of his day and we're talking like 1940s now so it's a very long time ago. Um, he was a big time tennis player and then what happened is um, someone approached him and said look do you want to make some clothing? So the first thing that they designed was actually a wristband, it was a Fred Perry wristband and that went on sale and it became very popular. From there they started moving on to um, what they called tennis shirts, which was basically the first type of polos, but they were called tennis shirts back then, and they were only available in one color, which was white. In the 1960s, they became very popular in mod culture. They started to become more popular. People started wearing them more, and it became very fashionable and trendy in the 60s. After that, people started requesting more colors because it was only available in white. Imagine that. So Fred Perry started doing more colors, and since then, Fred Perry have become a big time sportswear brand now. And they, they do lots of accessories, lots of bags and stuff like that. Lots of different bits. And I, I personally really like the brand as well. Their polos are available in so many different colors. So I, I think they're very cool. And for the price as well, I think they're pretty decent, man. I think they're pretty decent. But anyway, let's have a look in more detail. Let's see these items. I know you guys are gagging to see this stuff. So this is the stuff from N Clothing. A lot of people have asked me if N Clothing is legit. They are legit. They're a really good retailer. They're one of the best retailers out there, man. Their, um, their collection of clothing online is, is absolutely amazing. This is how the stuff came. It all came packed really nicely. So nice. And this is all the stuff right here, guys. This is all the stuff right here. You can see they got the N clothing tissue paper. You know I love me a bit, a bit of tissue paper. So I'm going to take it out all very gently and show you these bits. Fred Perry tends to go on sale a lot. So if you check on the actual Fred Perry website, you can see all the different polos. Actually, if you go on the Fred Perry website now, you will see that there's a lot of the polos on sale, okay? So that's that, man. Let's crack in. Let's have a look at these polo tops. Let's see what they're saying. So this is one of the most requested colors, this one. This is a very popular one, black with the yellow. Really nice top, this one. Just gonna have a look on the inside and see what it's made of. It should be 100% cotton in here. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's see, man. Made in China. Even got the Fred Perry, the original store there, the Covent Garden store. I've been there. It's a really nice store. Spare button there, and we've got the Reef logo as well, and that's Fred Perry, the name on there. And um, 40 degree wash. What is it made of? There we go. 100% cotton, guys. So we can see this is a very well made top. It's got really good material on it. No mix in there. It's just pure cotton. What I love about Fred Perry polos is there's so many different color combinations to the different polos. So obviously this one is yellow with the black. This is a slim fit as well. So they do do different sizes on this as well. So the slim fit is a little bit more fitted as, as the name suggests. It's not really a regular fit. I prefer the slim fit. You can see me trying it on the side and I, I really like this one. This is a really nice color i think i've actually got this in a black and orange one as well that's that one also got it in the blue here bam this one's a little bit different this one's a regular fit guys this one you can see the collar there is a bit a bit different as well it hasn't got the um i think they call that double tip or something there's so many different varieties man even i'm going to show you one of my limited edition 
bam that's one of my limited edition pieces right here this one love this particular one again you can see this one's too small for me this is a 38 this was a little bit smaller back in the day but yeah love the material on this one guys so nice you can see the reef is a little bit different there and the texture is a little bit different but as i'm saying pop the the amount of different combinations they do the different materials the different styles of the polos they just do so much that's one of the reasons why I really like this brand, man. Very, very special. As well as that, it's a British brand as well. I really like to see these British brands coming out and doing really cool stuff. And it's, it's a heritage brand. It's been going on for so long. So it's been going on since like 19, 1940s. So yeah, been going on a long time. So this is the blue one right here, guys. It should be made from 100% cotton, as we can see. It's just the same as the other. It's got the spare button there. And bam, we've got the... 100% cotton. Just notice the QR code there actually, so that we should be able to scan that and we should see what's saying. Let's, let's give it a try and see. So, just got this QR here, so I'm going to try and read that and see what it's saying. So let's have a look. Let's see how this works. I've never done this one before. Um, as, you got, as you know, I've done this on the Stone Island before. This is dead. Right, let's see if we can try and read this, man. It's so tiny, though. I give up, man. I've been, I've been trying to scan that with the QR reader for the last 10 minutes. It didn't even work, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. It's totally pointless having this on there. Why is it so small like that, man? I need to make that bigger. That was really annoying. So, yeah, couldn't get that to work. If any of you guys have got a... Fred Perry Polo and you can get it to work, let me know man, because I, could, I couldn't work it out, it just really vexed me man, it actually pissed me off, but anyway, so that's that, so yeah, that's the Polo right there guys, this is a regular fit one, you can see me try it on the side, um, this one is on at 59, but it should be on sale at N Clothing, check the price down below, so this one's a size medium actually, this one's also, this one was a size large, so I, I actually got the two different sizes to see how they would fit. And the funny thing is, is on the arms, they kind of fit exactly the same, but on the body, on the side, this had obviously been a medium, had more of a tighter fit. I actually prefer the fit of the medium for me though. So <clears throat> I'm around a 41 inch chest. So this medium for me, the 41 inch chest worked out just fine. So that's that. So that's that one, man. The, the white one is here as well. I don't really go for white polos too tough, to be honest. I do like the look of white polos. I do like white tops. I think the only thing <clears throat> with something like this for me personally is that if you get it dirty, if you get one small little blemish on it or something, it, it, it can be really annoying because um, it just stands out. That's the only thing when you get something like that dirty. It just stands out a little bit and that can be a little bit annoying sometimes. But yeah, you can see me trying it on the side and I think it looks really cool, the white one. Uh, my favourite one is the black one though. last piece we're going to look at is the, um, the Fred Perry sweater. Really nice sweater, this one. It feels really nice. Um, not really so much of a summer drop. It's more probably in the evening time when the weather gets a little bit cooler. This is something to drop in the um in the spring again we've got that silly stupid qr code reader there i tried to scan the other one i couldn't scan it i'm not even going to bother attempting to try and scan this one because i'll just be there for another 15 minutes trying it out this is made from 100 percent line of wool so that's really good to see this was on an 85 um it's, it, sorry it was on an 89 you can get some other jumpers um i mean you probably get something similar at Maybe not Zara's would do this, but Reese would do something like this as well, so it'd be like a similar price. Um, also try and look at Folk, YMC, they do really nice knits. To be fair, probably about the same price. You can see me trying it on again. Um, I got this in a large, I wish I got it in a medium. I felt it was just a touch too big for me, but 100% merino wool, that is really good. If you look on the um, cuffs, you can see they've got some kind of elasticated cuffs there, so they're a little bit tighter on the cuffs and they've also got an elasticated hem at the bottom as well so it's a little bit it tucks in at the um, at the hem when I tried this on the arms are too long for me so I had to fold it you can see it on the side see me rocking it there I had to fold it a little bit on there just which I didn't really like which just goes to show that I really did kind of need a medium really so yeah that's it guys um, Fred um, Perry stuff I'll put all the links below so if you want to check out some of the stuff do check it out there's lots more colors man there were so many colors but this stuff is selling out so quickly it's selling out really really fast so um, you have to be quick if you're looking for a 
if you're looking for um, some polo tops guys because they're selling so quick but again check all the links below so guys that's it for the minute man with the Fred um, Perry stuff I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found it informative I'm going to be looking at um, some Stone Island I got um, I think it's, it's the Gucci no that's not the Gucci in there that should be the Stone Island drops in there yo so yeah I'll be, I'll be doing a review of that tomorrow morning I'll be doing the um, video shoot for that so guys that's it man hope you enjoyed that I'm going to be off it's like 11 o'clock now so it's quite late um, yeah I'm going to be doing some more reviews guys I'm going to catch you up in a bit Ooh, I'm tired man I'm out of here peace out Shh.